Hello, welcome back again. I want to spend the next couple of minutes with you on SASE, or Secure Access Service Edge, and what it can imply for you, your business, and your clients. What is SASE exactly? I will try to explain this short and simple, in a way that I understand it as a non-technical person. Let's start with the security component, which is SSE or Secure Service Edge. SSE is not a technology, but rather a package or architecture of different key core services combined into one solution. Ideally, there should be a single vendor solution to reduce complexity. The Secure Web Gateway or SWIG is the first component. It will provide secure access to the web. It will do so by inspecting web requests versus company policies and by blocking malicious applications and websites. The, uh, the firewall as a service will also secure the web traffic. It will act in the same way as a next generation firewall on premise would do, but now in the cloud. The CASB or cloud access broker has a crucial role to play in securing access to cloud-based applications and services. Plus, it is also providing a more granular access when using SaaS applications. ZTNA, this will provide the access to your corporate private applications and data, still residing on premise. ZTNA is a shift in network security, where traditionally, once you're on a network, you are trusted. ZTNA comes with the credo, never trust, always verify. It will perform continuous verification of all users and devices as they access the corporate network. Access is granted on a per session basis to individual applications versus a complete network access in the traditional way. As they won, this is the final service of SASE I will highlight. As we all know, Fortinet is the market leader in SD1, and it is SD1 that truly distinguishes SASE from SSE. SASE is SSE, the security components, plus SD1, the networking components. Also important to know is that SASE is a cloud-delivered service model, which is driven by artificial intelligence and machine learning. The convergence of security and networking we are preaching at Fortinet for many years now is also true for SSE and SASE. A single vendor approach is the way to go here as well, consolidating everything in one single vendor interface. But why is it so important? And why did I want to talk to you about SASE especially today? Not only because it's a buzzword, but because it's a, the business opportunity is huge, as you can see by the Gardner predictions, predictions on the slide. But I will keep these for the time's sake, I will skip them. Uh, I will hear you thinking, Bart, what can I do with SASE in a local SMB Benelux level? Well, it appears to be that SASE will be the route many SMBs will take. Thanks to SASE, all type of companies, big ones and small ones, uh, can now deploy it. They can deploy a corporate network over the internet with 5G and fiber, with affordable advanced security services, which are scalable, flexible, and do not require big additional investments. The cloud-based nature of SASE makes it easy and fast to implement, and it is often offered as a managed service. In short, SASE will become mainstream. It is a great business opportunity for you to talk, customer, to talk with customers about it, and you will be helping them to solve challenges they are currently facing. Now, let's have a quick closer look to, uh, at all those challenges and what their impact is on security. Work from anywhere has become the new normal and companies are literally turned inside out. Last year, Belgium has entered the top five of Europe when it comes to remote working. So it is affecting everybody and all your customers and it is there or here to stay. The web is the number one source of infections. Employees that connect directly to the internet without VPN are exposed to those threats and without networking protection, they have a high risk to get infected. There are also challenges brought up by VPN, both in scaling and complexity. And because VPN is no longer sufficient from a security perspective, many companies are looking into ZTNA right now. What is making things worse, people like myself using easily accessible web services to get completely around the IT department without their knowledge. This is called shadow IT. All these different trends are coming together and they are driving a very strong growth for the SASE market. Before discussing the solutions Fortinet can offer, let's have a more detailed look at how in general we are facing these problems today. Consider a common situation. 
To protect your customer's network, you have deployed FortiGate Next Generation Firewall and enabled FortiGuard services for the best protection. For the road workers, you have installed FortiClient so that they can connect via the VPN to the office. And this not only provides them with secure private access to the office or network, but also with protection by FortiGuard security services when they access the internet, because their traffic is now tunneled to the main office via VPN before they get internet access. The first problem is that many, if not most, employees don't always access the internet through VPN. Often, and especially when they're browsing the internet for personal use, they go direct, not via the VPN. Unfortunately, this is also the time when they get exposed to threats the most. When they do this, they are not protected by FortiGate nor by FortiGuard services. This exposed, excuse me, this exposed direct access to the internet is unfortunately not the only issue. For their day-to-day -day business, uh, people are increasingly using web services like Office 365 or Salesforce. And again, they often do this by bypassing the VPN. With this kind of web services used unknowingly from the IT department, for example, to exchange big files, we speak of shadow IT. The problem is that the IT department has no visibility and, this, and that there is a higher risk on data leakage. Another problem is that unrestricted access is given to sensitive applications when employees are not working from the office, but in a coffee shop, for example. And what about when a computer is undergoing an unresolved infection or has a critical vulnerability? Shouldn't its access be restricted? So we already addressed the problems of employees bypassing the VPN for internet access and for connection to cloud-based applications, as well as shadow IT and the shortcoming of VPNs on the trust and access level. Another problem is the user experience. Because VPN backhauls the traffic to the main office before giving access to the internet, it may be noticeably slower than direct access to the internet. And, there is an, an, uh, sorry, and if there is any VPN connectivity issue, users may have no alternative, which leads to frustrations. Now let's have a look at the best way to address all these issues in a manner that takes advantage of and builds upon the security investments that have already been made. With a simple upgrade of their 40 client agents, organizations can get immediate access to all the 40 SASE services and benefits. The first thing remote workers will benefit from when using 40 SASE is the same full protection of 40 guard services, just like when they were working from the office. They will do so from anywhere and all the time. And it will feel as if they were directly accessing the internet without VPN. This is not just a great Im security improvement. It is also a much better user experience. With FortiSASI, remote workers will have secure private access all the time and for all connections. Behind the scenes and totally transparent for end users, FortiClient will establish secure and private connections to the FortiSASI infrastructure. This secure private access is always active without remote workers having to worry about it. Plus, what is more, the classical VPN still remains available whenever needed. For Tisasi, just adds up a simpler, new way and more secure option for remote access. For organizations, for Tisasi is not only a security improvement, it also gives them management and compliance benefits. With for Tisasi, you can be sure that the same security policy apply in all situations. This is consistent security posture, uh, sorry, this consistent security posture is not only better for security, but it will also help organizations to meet compliance requirements. What is more, everything can be managed and controlled by a management console hosted in the cloud. This gives great flexibility to your security team. And the only thing they, do, they need to do is just to upgrade their for the client agents. The fourth great benefit for organizations is that they gain visibility and, and control on shadow IT. With Forti SASI, the IT department will be able to identify key public applications, report on their usage, and provide secure access. It will also allow them to lock down access to applications that have been judged too dangerous or simply undesirable. The underlying technology making this possible is the CASB component. The fifth advanced security service made accessible by FortiSASI is the ZTNA. This gives the possibility to define context-based access to sensitive applications and data. 
We set TNA, you could, for example, restrict access to certain apps to only employees who are physically present in the main office. Or you could temporarily block access to certain critical apps to a system that has unpredicted, un unpatched uh, vulnerabilities. As already explained, this is the future of how we should give secure access to applications and data, not just for remote working, but also for people working from the office. If an organization is using Fortinet SD1, they should know that Fortisasi is completely integrated with it. This way, Fortisasi ensures not only seamless connectivity, but also provides intelligent routing and steering in order to provide a superior performance, stability, and the best user experience for remote workers. Another great capability of Fortisasi is the agentless connectivity. This provides secure connectivity for users that cannot deploy for the client, such as guests or subcontractors. This ageless option will provide the same FortiGuard security services and secure private access benefits as for remote users with FortiClients deployed. Understandably, the more advanced security benefits described earlier will still require a FortiClient agent. And finally, FortiSASI also provides Fortinet endpoint protection as a completely free of charge option. Fortinet endpoint protection is fully integrated in the FortiClient agent and in the FortiSASE console. It can simply be activated at the customer's discretion at any time and uh, without any extra cost or work. For time's sake, I will skip all the next generation security features it provides, but they are certainly worth a closer look. Fortinet endpoint protection works perfectly alongside other third party endpoint protection solutions. And it is not necessary to activate the endpoint protection to benefit from FortiSASI services described earlier. Just know that it's included in FortiSASI and it can be a differentiator for organizations when they are, for example, not satisfied with their current endpoint protection or they are just looking to simplify management. <clears throat> it can be a great option to look at. In summary, all this is delivered by letting organizations make the most out of their existing security investments. They can fully capitalize on their FortiGate, FortiGuard, SD1, and FortiClient deployments already in place. They do so by extending FortiGate and FortiGuard protection to all situations. They also increase their security with new capabilities such as visibility on shadow IT and context-based access control to applications. FortiSASE also helps to improve compliance and management when it comes to remote workers. As an outcome, customers will benefit from a higher level of security combined with a much better user experience. This is quite uncommon in IT security. Thanks to the low investment cost and the very accessible SaaS approach, SaaS is something organizations of all sizes can now benefit from. What about licensing and costs? The licensing is flexible and can be adapted to the customer's need, being it by endpoint or by user. For a customer with a small number of endpoints, licensing starts with packs of 25 devices. Starting from 100 users, you can start quoting by user. This has the advantage that you can deploy the license on three different devices per user. So in conclusion, FortiSaaS is a hot topic for customers because it provides them the best way to address the new normal challenges which every customer has to face. Be the first to talk with your customer about SASI, because if you don't, the competition will. FortiSASI is probably the easiest cross-sell opportunity you have because it only requires a simple upgrade from Forti client. Fortin has made it easy to sell by providing a complete set of sales and marketing tools on the partner portal. So go out and talk about FortiSASI and sell it. And as always, next to Fortinet, we at Exclusive are here to assist you if necessary. Do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you. <laughs>